Hello, beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here with beautiful Madison again. And we are talking about where is Lisa Marie Young in Vancouver, Canada, correct? Mm -hmm. That's where she's at. Again, this is entertainment only. This is our perception. This is our point of view. We'd love Mm -hmm. to hear your point of view. If you think it's yes or no, or we want to find this beautiful girl. We want, that's the Mm -hmm. whole purpose of this video. Right, Madison? Yes, yes, it's absolutely. To find this beautiful person. Yeah. And um, and this is the story. I, I've mm-hmm. never heard of this story, probably because I'm not in Canada, but I think the world needs to hear this story because it's mm-hmm. this beautiful, beautiful gal. Mm-hmm. And we'll give you some highlights on it. And then we'll talk about maybe some predictions on it or our point of view. And mm-hmm. I think this is exciting. I think this is yes. exciting. And yeah. um, go for it, Madison. Let us- absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much. So, I mean, it's I think it's also really important that we chat about Lisa Marie because it's coming up on her 20th anniversary of being missing wow. this June 30th. Yeah, June 30th. of 2022. Mm-hmm. So the energy is coming back up. Um, I really think that um, it, 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 there's an annual walk that's held for her in, in Nanaimo. So it's on, um, it's Vancouver Island. So just off the coast of, mainland British Columbia and um, they hold a walk there. So there's the walk happening again on the 30th. And uh, I just really think it's important that we keep her story alive and that we bring some peace to her family. So yeah. Thank That's you so much for the introduction. I, yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you and the beautiful people who are listening a little bit about the case. Yes. We'd love um, to. I want to hear yeah. about it too. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was starting to listen to a podcast because there's a bunch of podcasts and people talking about it, of course. Um, But then I started listening to it and I was like, oh, Spirit's going, nope, because they're going to get their point of view in there. And that doesn't help with me doing Mm. my intuitive thing. So, right. Perfect. Okay, cool. So great. This is a great opportunity. There's a lot of information. So I'm going to try and condense as much as I can. Um, and my ears are ringing a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so Lisa Marie Young was born May 5th, 1981. She went missing at 22 years old, um, or sorry, 21 years old. I believe it was in the early hours of Sunday, June 30th in the Nanaimo, British Columbia. So that's just, as we talked about on Vancouver Island, she went missing on a Saturday night, early hours of Sunday, celebrating her friend's birthday. Her friend's name is Dallas Hully. Um, and so she was, let me pull up a map because I have mapped out her last known locations. Um, so she went to a nightclub. It's called at the time it was called jungle nightclub. And then she was chatting with her friends outside. This gentleman in a red Jaguar approached her and her friends and they were talking about hanging out and he offered them a ride to a house party. And so um, the red Jag guy took her friends uh, to this house party. They hung out there for a little bit. Then they, then they decided to leave and go to another house party. So they go to another house party and, and red Jag guy is still driving. Um, and at this party, Lisa Marie got hungry and she's a vegetarian as am I, but she's a vegetarian. And I, I know this pain all too well. There wasn't any food available for her to eat. So red Jag guy offered her, um, a ride somewhere else. It was actually, he said that he could take her to a subway, um, and that they would have, uh, that uh, one was sandwich. open late night. Yeah. And then he would get her veggie sandwich. I love right. veggie sandwiches. Whenever I go to Subway, that's what I do is I put the oil yeah. on the salt. All and- the veg. It's yeah, good. Veg. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian, but <laughs> I like their veg sandwich. So, <laughs> oh. And, um, Red Jag guy was supposed to take her to Subway. And then um, based on the last few reports of Lisa Marie, she <clears throat> was not taken to a Subway sandwich shop. Instead, she was taken to another house party and she called her friend Dallas, whose birthday she was celebrating and said that, let me see if I can pull up the exact quote so I don't get this wrong, um, but that he won't bring me back. Um, she said something we're sitting on a driveway on Bowen road. Um, and I don't know what's going on. He won't bring me back later. She texted Dallas, her friend saying, um, 
they won't bring me back. They won't let me leave. So there's okay. theories around, sorry. Let me ask you. So that's, that's the part where I got kind of confused. Right. So she said he won't bring me back, but you're they saying won't. that she called him, called Dallas twice. She called Dallas once and then sent a text message after that call. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the text message was, they won't bring me back. They won't bring me back. And okay. that's why there's a lot of theories around that were they, and me, mind you, like, you know, they were going out there celebrating, they were drinking. So maybe right. it was just like, you know, we don't really know exactly what that they means. There's no right. real evidence to support what that they is, but there's theories on it. Okay. Cause they would imply more than just red Jag guy. But anyways, we'll get to that. So was the, um, was the text really close to the phone call or is it an hour apart, a half an hour apart? No, it wasn't too long afterwards. I think okay. it was, yeah. So it was around, um, 4 30 AM, I believe wow. around like 4 30 AM that they, that he got a call and then soon after, um, a text. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's good to know. It's kind of like give the timeline here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this happened all pretty close together. And Dallas had said that he was pretty, you know, he couldn't really offer much help at that point because he was drinking himself. He was intoxicated. So he couldn't pick her up. He suggested that she get out of the car and call a cab. Who, who's he? Dallas. I the friend. said she before. Uh, uh, so no Dallas, because he was drinking, he wasn't able to help oh, Dallas, Lisa. Is a he, not a she. Da yeah. Dallas is a he, sorry. Okay, you said, yeah. She okay. Okay. So he, it, he is a Dallas. Okay. He is Dallas, Dallas Hudley. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, it's hard to also get a lot of this, um, a lot of this information, like verified from Dallas now, because he has passed. I don't know the exact date of when he passed, oh, but he was no, really yeah, he was hit by a vehicle um, and had passed away. So we're just kind of going based off of. And who yeah. was who was in the vehicle that? I think it was a truck. I think it was like a, a, a bigger truck or something. And okay. he went onto the road. The thing that really is confusing to me is that he like he dropped something on the road and had rushed over to pick it up. And then somehow got hit by a car or a truck. Okay. But so it seems picking something like the freeway and then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which seems, I mean, anyway, so I'll yeah. leave that so one that, there. That, but... Sorry. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So that is, so jungle nightclub is yeah. One of the last known places she went to. She said that she was on Bowen road in Nanaimo. That's kind of like South Nanaimo. Um, and is that uh, a long road? Or is that it a, is a long, road? it's kind of a, it's a longish road. It's not short, but it's, it's like a main. How, how many miles do you think? Um, let me see. I have it pinned wow. on Google maps. Let's, <laughs> let us see. So like you beautiful people that are watching, I want you to be part of this. Let's get into this conversation and let's kind mm -hmm. of dissect this. I wonder open on my maps. Yeah. I don't know if I can get an exact. If you can't get, no, I don't need an exact. I was just saying, is it like a one mile, 10 mile, 20 mile, 30 mile? Oh, it's uh well, I have it as about like nearly six kilometers. So I don't know what, what six kilometers is in miles. <laughs> I don't know. Either. <laughs> uh, okay. Six uh, kilometers in miles. I think People it's are about, screaming at us. So it's right 3.7, 3.7 miles. Okay. Around there, around there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting stuff, but just keep on going. Okay, cool. <laughs> and again, so a lot of, so, um, when I was listening to this podcast, which the family recommended, and I will say, by the way, I did speak to the family and that they request, um, we keep information accurate and respectful. Um, and that's, those are our main objectives. And then whenever we do talk about our own theories, um, to preface with that, because we want to say that this is the evidence, this is what we know, and this is what we don't know. Right. Uh, you know, so we don't cause speculation or any harm to the case right. because that's the last thing that we want to do. Um, but there is some reports and I cannot verify for certain that her cell phone was pinged last around like departure Bay, which is, 
you know, right into the water. So there were less pings. Exactly what I saw was. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So there were, there, there were cell phone pings along there and where her cell phone is the RCMP, which is like our national police force in Canada okay. will not verify during this podcast. They wouldn't okay. say, cause they don't want to give too much away. Right. So they didn't want to say where her cell phone, you know, last was or, or anything like that, but there are reports of that. Okay. One thing I want to tell the beautiful people that are watching um, if you're listening to this on Spotify, you're not going to be able to do this, but count how many orbs you're going to see around Madison, <laughs> because I'm already seeing before we recorded tons of them. So I'm already <laughs> seeing a couple of them. So look out for the orbs that are around Madison. <laughs> yeah. Just, watch the YouTube video. Just, yeah. just count, play a game. Yeah. yeah play a game. <laughs> yeah. Drink a game. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> 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 All good. So she, yeah, I mean, there are some reports that her cell phone pings were last around Departure Bay, which is right by a uh, like huge body of water. Okay. So that's what I was saying. Okay. okay. So do you want me to talk about some well, of the theories? Because, okay. I'll give you a couple of things of what I was seeing before we even started recording. Okay. Yeah. Let's hear was, it. They were saying that this is speculation. This is what I'm getting from spirit. Yes. This is not the evidence. Um, they were saying that it's by body of water. It's like where the Boeing road is, it's on that side. So if the Boeing road is South, then it was South of the water. If the Boeing road is North of the water, then it's North of it, she's on the North side. I'm also seeing the letter W the letter W is a big point. So I don't know if a street is W or, um, you know what I mean? If it's West, I, I don't know if it's West. I think it's connected to a name or something that is around, around that area. I keep on getting a lot, you know, like a, wuh. so I don't know, Absolutely. you know, how you yeah. got French or, or, um, indigenous words that sound like a, wuh, but that are mm -hmm. not a, wuh. you know what I mean? Right. Just like right. here, I live in Oxnard, but we have point Y Nimi, Y Nimi. It sounds like a Y, oh, but it starts okay. with an H. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right. So, um, right. so I'm giving, I'm getting the letter W or the W kind of sound to it. Mm. So I don't know if there's any streets or any, uh, yeah. or anything, gonna... a W or a W. Hmm. I'm, I'm looking at a map now. I mean, between departure Bay and Bowen. Bowen Road. I don't know. There's a lot of different streets and stuff. So Unless I would have look to at Bowen, where it says Bowen Road and look mm -hmm. at the W and go straight up. Oh my God. Do you know what I'm there, saying? Like there's a there's a road <clears throat> there's a road on Bowen Road called Wakisha. There you Wakisha. Go. And wow. so so like if this is the lake and here's the Bowen Road, where's the Wakisha or where's the W pointing to the lake? So here's, here's like departure Bay. Okay. Um, so it would, it's North of Bowen road, pretty much. It's North of Bowen road. Okay. Yeah. So, and then like, uh, this wake, God, what's this W this W street is, um, going North and South. Okay. But it's like South of departure Bay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'll have to look at a map. Like I said, it's easier or better for me to go there. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. even if I could talk to the family and say, can I hold on to a hairbrush or a shoe or a mm -hmm. jewelry or something of hers? I will mm -hmm. kind of kind of get into the space, but, um, like I said, I'm a photo psychic, so I would look at the map, but, um, I will get all this information from you after the video and then I'll look at right. it and maybe even put it on the end to say, Oh, this is what, yeah, this is what I feel right yeah. around here or something, but that's what I'm feeling. And that's what I got getting up this morning. Cause I know that we were going to oh, do wow. this. Video. So spirit will always kind of give me information, like right when you kind of get up, mm -hmm. um, and, and water W that's what they kept on going. Water W water W. Water and I'm, and w. Um, when I found, uh, a missing person in Minnesota, it was mm -hmm. kind of like the same way. They'd be like houses, pond, Christmas tree. I'm just like, okay, that's not helping me, but you know, they gave me in the right direction. And that's exactly where, where the, the beautiful girl's, um, body was found. 
he looked mm. up because it was around Christmas and people had that going out the door kind of thing. They had a Christmas tree and it was right in line with wow. where her body was. So, wow. so that's kind of what they're showing me again. This is just speculation, speculation. all speculation. speculation, speculation. Yeah. Yeah. Although I will say that, um, Lisa Marie's mother, um, or like they mentioned specifically the mother, but her family, you know, I think they got to a point of, um, such willingness to try anything that they had connected with psychics and were willing to hear and were open to, um, the input of other psychics and stuff. So you want to talk about the psychic? I do. I do just a little bit. So there was this really fascinating story and the gentleman's name is Norman Pratt and, um, the mother of Lisa actually. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Um, I got, I got a sense that he was quite sweet, at least from what I just felt and saw, I feel like he's quite sweet, but, um, sorry. Can you hear that? Oh, thank God. It's done. (laughs) There's a very loud, um, honking. Um, that's, you know, a sign saying something. Yep. Yeah. So, So, um, the Lisa's mother reached out to Norm, the psychic. He didn't reach out to them. He wasn't like, Hey, give me money. Hey, I want to do that. Yeah. I'm not doing this for money or right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So just want to preface that, that, you know, he didn't really have any motives other than wanting to help as, as do we. And so he, um, calls the RCMP. He's like, listen, I want to help out as much as I can. Long story short, he got the sense and the feeling to look in this wooded area. Um, I can't remember the exact location. Um, Don with that. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Anyway, so they're looking at this wooded area and he keeps, he's saying that he's connecting with Lisa's spirit. And she's saying like, you're going to find me like, this is me, this is me. And so he sort of just like, um, brushing this dirt and comes across these bones and he's hearing Lisa say, this is me, this is me, this is me, this is me. And, but inside he was like, I don't think it is. And this is his account. He's saying on the, uh, on the podcast I listened to, he's like, I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's a, it's deer bones. Anyways. Um, in that moment, um, Lisa Marie's family, and she is indigenous, her, um, first nation side of of her family they decided to hold the ceremony anyways and they honored these bones um and they did a ceremony for her um and and so they they let that be it was all very peaceful it was all very um healing i suppose and so the next day they went with the officers, the RCMP officers, they collected the bones and they sent them off to um, someone at UBC to analyze, which is a university here, sorry, uh-huh. to analyze the bone to see if they were human, first of all, or animal. And the uh, person who analyzed the bone said that they are a very, very, very young deer bones, um, you know, remains, but that's, you know, that's fair because a young baby deer and humans femur, they look very similar. So I could see how you would make that mistake or how they would look similar. Anyways, he he's, but he's still hearing in the back of his, his head or from Lisa, he's claiming that this is me, this is me, this is me. And he's like, I don't know what you're saying. All confused. He talks to Lisa's mother, Joanne, and he's, you know, like, He's like, I'm sorry, you know, that I, I really couldn't find her or they're, they're talking about this. She's like, you offered me a lot. And that might be the last or the only time that we get to honor Lisa. And so um, you did a lot for me, whether or not it was really her or if it was, you know, a deer and stuff. And so right. he decided to ask her, did you ever have a nickname for Lisa growing up? Um, something like deer. And she said, and, De- and Debbie's nodding her head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, Joanne said, yes, we used to call her Bambi. I was just going to say like Bambi. But I yeah. didn't say that. No, I should have asked. Bambi. I should have asked. And I, I, I definitely believe you when, when you said you're like, or when you felt, uh, oh, I should have said it. That's okay. That's no, all right. Because now nobody's going to, you know, yeah. But- I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go just like Bambi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. but her nickname was Bambi and so I I wanted to ask you because I know you've said this before when you connect with people who have passed sometimes you know you've you've mentioned this like either the person themselves don't want to be found or they don't want their family to find them or the family doesn't want to find them or something and I'm wondering because Lisa 
the psychic has claimed that Lisa was very adamant that this is me, this is me. And so why do you want to speak to that a little bit? Why do you think that that was? Well, I feel like she's saying, first of all, Bambi. Mm. And um, also I feel like it's a representation of her. And I feel that she's in water, so they're not going to be able to find her. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. So it's, it would have to have some scuba divers, maybe even, I don't know if people have watched that YouTube channel, uh, adventures with purpose, right? Maybe they could find her bones or whatever in this lake, you know? Um, um, I feel like it's, I don't know this lake at all, but if there's some parts where it's kind of swampy, mm. do you know how you know, like you go to a lake and it's, it's grass, and then it's not like sand, not, not a nice yeah. beach going to it, but there's parts where it's, you know, kind of, kind muggy. of muggy almost. And it depends. Yeah. yeah. And it depends if how high the water is. So it's grassy, it's the grass in the water or da, 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 da. I'm seeing it as that. I feel like she's saying you're going in the right direction. I'm in that space. I'm, you know, let's go forward. Um, I feel that she probably knew that people weren't going to be able to find her. So like you said, doing the ceremony for her mm. is a good representation of her. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's her spirit. She's already in this beautiful place, you know? Right. But um, my, my thing that I'm hearing from spirit is, again, speculation, that they can find the clothes. Do you know what she was wearing mm. last? Yes, yes. So she was wearing a black skirt, a black sleeveless top, um, high, like high knee black boots. <laughs> well, I, I was going to wear black and I was like, no, I was going to wear a black shirt with a black skirt, but I was like, no, why am I wearing that? That's, that's, that's so funny. Nice. I've never, I've never known you to wear any black. So the, right. the, the thought to, to like, I should wear black is fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. That's really interesting. Again, that's speculation. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, and, I'm proving it. So, okay. And so she was wearing uh, also a, um, a silver hooped necklace and I believe uh, silver earrings as well. Okay. I think she was wearing silver earrings. Uh, I can't 100% remember, but definitely a silver hooped necklace. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Silver hoop necklace. So what does that mean? Just silver strand? Yeah, that's what I was confused about. I tried to get like photos or ideas of that, but what I picture, actually, I might even have for folks who are watching this. It'll be a lot easier. Also like some like little hoops connected. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm seeing something kind of like this, like a hooped necklace right. like that. That's exactly what. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like these connected, uh, hoops. Circles. And then yeah. This, hoops. Yeah. Got it. Right. 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 Got it. Cause I remember reading that. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what yeah. a hooped hoops necklace. Hoops necklace. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it took me a while to understand what I'm hearing is, is like, if they could get, um, a metal detector, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Around the lake area. Um, or even if someone did find a hoop earrings around that area, maybe they were connected to her. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she's, so you're connecting with spirit and hearing that there's a possibility. Yeah, I'm not connecting with her. I, I don't think yeah. I'm connecting with her. Um, if I was holding on to something of hers, Sorry, we will be stopping here. Okay, stop. I got to turn off the TV. Oh, <laughs> the TV all of a sudden turned on. Okay, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. Can we put that in? Like, we had to stop because um, electronics are. <laughs> so maybe what was we, what were we just saying? <laughs> what was I just oh. saying there? Um, about how you're metal not detector, metal necklace. and that you, you're not connecting exactly with Lisa, but if you had something of hers, right. But I feel like the hoop earrings, the necklace could be found. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I do what know I'm what feeling. You're like, like I said, I'm feeling like metal detecting metal, um, that area. Right. Right. Okay. Because the, the family feels that she's passed, right? Okay. Speculation here. Cause this is what I'm seeing okay. going up through the W go through the lake, kind of the swampy area. 
I'm seeing the person rolling her in. So I don't see it like she's on a boat out into the lake in the middle. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's roll in much closer to where you would like walk into a lake or something. Right. But I'm not saying it's in the, I don't feel like it's a popular place. It would be a place where people would know, Oh, did you just see that? No. Holy (sighs) stripes. That was huge. Oh, it looked like a butterfly. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is crazy. We're going to have to go back and count all these things. But anyways, big orb just went in front. (laughs) And I've got hummingbirds here. So this has got to be a representation for something for her Mm. on my background here, people that are listening on the Spotify. But anyways, um, I feel, what was I saying? Go back, bring it back. Okay. So they're saying what I'm hearing from spirit speculation, um, that the person would know this area very well. Mm. And it's kind of like, it's not like where the popular people are, you know, it is not like a boat launch or something. It's like a, like a dirt path and that you would go through the thing and then you just kind of roll the person in. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel that of course it's 20 years later, if it was at the time, um, you probably wouldn't see the dirt marks. I bet you his car was probably very, very dirty and probably Mm -hmm. cleaned it Mm -hmm. because it was very, very dirty. Mm-hmm. because of the dirt marks. Do you know what I'm saying? So I don't know yes. if there's dirt trails there or, um, you know, yes. like, or like a, a pathway where people would go fishing there or camping there or whatever it is. Does mm-hmm. it make sense? <clears throat> that does make sense. Um, so red Jag guy, there is again, the, uh, the RCMP will not really confirm or speak to this. Okay. Um, but they did interview him and they don't have enough evidence and yada, yada, yada. But they, there, there was a report that I read that he, um, that the grandmother, because it was the, his grandmother's car, who was a very prominent figure in Nanaimo, uh-huh. um, where this whole case happened. She was a, a very prominent realtor. Anyway, she's also since passed. Um, but that she had the car cleaned. Oh, see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Making me sweat if people see me. Spirit always makes me sweat when I do readings or whatever. So I'm sweating like a bullet right now. (laughs) Don't worry. It doesn't translate on screen. Um, To the point I'm like, I need something to. Do you want to take a pause? But anyways, um, so that makes sense then. Right. Because I feel like, I feel like the person, I feel whoever, if it's not the red Jaguar guy, got stuck, got mud, got stuff all Mm -hmm. over the car. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was dirty. That makes sense. I just, I, again, I feel like it's another, and, and most people are probably thinking the same thing that he's just wanted sex from her. And she said, no, and I just wanted something to eat. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. There is, so I'm, I'm going to, so there's, there's a couple different theories and these, this is totally all speculation. None of this can be verified. Um, but there is talk that, and I think this might stem from the fact that Lisa in her text said they, um, that there's this, there's this theory that red, red Jag guy took her to a party where there were trigger warning here that there was a uh, snuff videos being filmed and recorded. Mm-hmm. And so something, yeah. and Debbie shaking her head. No, no. Nope. Nope. That, that it went sour and there was a group of people involved and that they, you know, she's like, absolutely not. Nope. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's talk that her body has been moved and that it was in a well. And then since has been moved from that well. No, no, no. you don't see that. Because if that was the case, he, mm. he would have not, he would have forced her or talked to her more in the beginning, like, come on, let's go here. Let's go here. Do you know what I'm saying? He would have tried to get her by herself. If, if this, because that would have had to been a, um, intentional thing. Do you see what I'm saying? I think that he would have tried to pick her up at the, at the bar and not take everybody to these parties. If that was the case, do you know what I'm saying? If that was the major intention, you want to wait it until 4 a.m. People are mm-hmm. not going to be up until 4 a.m. 
you know what I'm saying? It's like the timeline and this is speculation to me, but I, I'm not feeling it. I'm not sensing mm -hmm. it. I'm not hearing from spirit. Right. Right. Cause I you, feel you, like what happened to her was not an intentional thing. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like it just kind of fell into place. Wow. Wow. Because if she didn't say she was hungry, this wouldn't have happened. Right. Right. It's not like he planned this. It's he not like he had a group of guys. Say, Are you hungry? Let's go. You know what I mean? Right. He, he just, saw, he saw an opportunity. Right. And, 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 and took that. Maybe he even saw her at the bar and said, Hey, I think she's pretty damn cute. You know what I mean? So she's a cute gal, beautiful gal, beautiful person. Very beautiful. And he's probably yeah. thinking, damn, you know, I want to go for her. So mm -hmm. that's why he drove him around and blah, blah, blah. Because I feel that her friends would have said, no way are you taking mm -hmm. her? Because they would have felt some kind of creepiness, or I would think. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? How friends are? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think if this was an intentional thing like that, I feel that. Right. He would have been, been able to pick up on his intentions a lot earlier right. than. And I think he would have done it sooner. I think he would have right. done it from the bar or the first house party. Like, Hey, come on, come with me. Just, that makes sense. I don't need you guys to come with. I just want her or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That, that actually makes a lot of sense because I've thought about that. I was like, why would he make him, his face so well known and take all these people to these parties exactly. if he had really thought about it? But it seems that it was just this window of opportunity that he took and was super rushed and, you know, was just like, I, I, you know, want more. Right. She obviously said no, or I mean, sorry, right. not obviously, this is again, all speculation. Right. It seems that she would have said no. Yeah. Mm. I don't, I don't feel like he did, did this on purpose. Do you know what I'm saying? Wow. I think it so, was just a situation that happened. Mm, mm. So Red Jag guy has uh currently he's in Japan uh with a yeah. wife. Yes. Wow. Yeah, he How did is he get in, to Japan? <laughs> I have no idea. He's I, I I think he's married. He has a partner, so I don't know if he if he met them here and then moved there or how that all worked out, but yeah, um I've seen that he left before that. Yeah, he definitely kind of probably yeah. needed to get out of town because there's a lot of if you if you go to Nanaimo, the sort of the consensus is that everybody has a theory and everybody kind of knows what happened. Right. There might I think there's another player involved that people sort of feel suspicious about, but a lot of people definitely think Red Jag guy is very suspicious, right? At the least, um, and so um, he has an, an extensive criminal history here in Canada between I think British Columbia and another province and it does includes a criminal history or he doesn't he does he does, he does. yeah what including I'm, assault I don't want to interrupt you but what I'm hearing from spirit is is that he drove all the way I feel like he went either to um I feel okay stop Debbie see this is what happens when I'm <laughs> hearing this information I'm just information hearing overload um, that he wouldn't, he didn't leave for Japan from, from Canada. where you guys are. I feel like it's either another part of Canada or he went to the States and flew from there because then his name wasn't on there. Do you know what I'm saying? Because right. I feel like the police department probably has like, if he's leaving, I want to hear about it, it, it from this airport. Do you right. know what I'm saying? So it's yes, like, yes. If, if, if it happened here in L in LA, then I think they would have like a little kind of thing going on in LAX. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I so, do. Um, and maybe not. I mean, that was 20 years ago. Uh, That's a good point. That's a good but point. But I feel like he left or he went in a, a, a way, another direction than where everybody else was kind of like looking out to see if he's leaving or if he went somewhere else. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That does make a lot of sense. I've tried to get as much information about him as possible, which was kind of hard, but um, yeah, that would make sense. I can't remember if I heard somewhere or in a different podcast that he did skip town and then I don't know where it is that he left to, but that would make oh, a lot so of sense. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I could just be imagining things, but I think yeah. that that holds merit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, including assault, including like, you know, yeah. Right. Assaulting, assaulting a, a peace officer, a lot of like unauthorized credit card usage. So like kind of just sketchy stuff. <sighs> 
so you're smiling. <laughs> no, I'm just like, see, it's see, see. It's like, okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. It's, it's, it's sad because it's like, like they said, they didn't have enough evidence. They had probably enough substantial evidence, but mm-hmm. grandma cleaning the car. And right. I mean, did they keep the car? Did they sell the car? She sold the I'm car. That car is being taken she sold away. The car. Yeah. Gotcha. See? Yeah. 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 She See, that's what I'm saying is that's where all the information is. But what I'm saying is, is I'm hearing. Okay. So they're saying, oh, you wouldn't find evidence from him, but we could find evidence where she's at. Okay. Gotcha. Mm. I'm hearing that we'll never get the evidence enough for, to cross, you know, to get him in charge or in fault, but we could find her. You okay. I do. I do. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's also been so long that, right. you know, to find her remains, even still, there's no, how would you connect that then to the person who harmed her? Right. Like, and let, because so much right. time has passed that that kind of evidence that might be really helpful in a trial has probably either washed away or, you know, has been disrupted in some form. Yeah. Mm. But that's why it's, I feel like the earrings and the necklace are key. And they're saying there that she also was wearing something. Uh, there's some other metal things that she was wearing too. So either mm-hmm. a metal a, belt, a belt or some kind of other metal thing. Do you know what I mean? Maybe like even rings or something or something. Yeah. Know. Okay. Hmm. We'll have to go down there. We'll have to go down there with a metal detector yeah. and um, just try to scope it out. Yeah. Cause I will get a feeling to you know what I'm saying. Like the, like the one that I was talking about in Minnesota, I was, cause the person unfortunately did the crime behind. I was like, I went to the person's home. It was an ex-boyfriend. I went to the home, but it was so full of snow. This was in Minnesota. And it was one of the winters where it was like, you know, yeah. 30 inches of snow or whatever. It was tons of snow. And because they, um, he took off or whatever, or he was gone or he was in prison for something or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. I wanted to get to the back of the house and there's people there and they were like, Nope, you can't go there. Cause I was, I was drawn to the back side. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So mm-hmm. I get drawn to it and I found the house without, we didn't have a map then there was no mm-hmm. this ways or whatever. Oh. I was just saying to my friend, okay, drive here, drive there, drive here, drive there. I think that's where his house is. Wow. So you're like a bloodhound where the house was. <laughs> So that's why I'm saying with her, it's maybe I could get pulled to where I feel that she could be. Something of hers, yeah, would be found, like her jewelry, as you mentioned. Wow. Okay. So you do feel that there's a chance. Yes. That either. Okay. I mean, that's really hopeful. That is really hopeful. And and, uh, there's a speculation again, but they keep on showing me maybe even finding her teeth or finding something around her teeth. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if he hit her in the mouth, but that there's a tooth there. Well, it's been so long. Yeah. I could have just. Yeah. Or it's, te- you know, deteriorated and it's up on shore or they find it on the lake there. Because right. what kind of lake is it? Is it a public lake? Is it a swamp? No. Lake? So it's, um, so departure Bay, let me zoom out. This this um, goes into the ocean. It's just departure bay, so it's like kind of right beside. Oh, it's, a bay. it's a bay. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. not, a it's not a lake. It's an ocean. That's why it was kind of like hesitant. If her body's in the ocean, then I mean, I don't know. I don't know about but finding people in is, water. I don't see it as like let's put it in a boat and let's go out. I don't see it because it happened so fast. He was trying to protect himself. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. And I feel like he wouldn't be able to retrieve the body because of when you throw it in, it would, it would take too much. It would be too swampy. It would be too, wow. you know, like how, when you get in sand and then your feet get stuck into it, even if you're at the beach, I was just at the beach yesterday. Can't right. tell because the lighting here makes me look like, a <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but um, do you know what I'm saying? It's like you stand on the, even if you stand on the sand and you got the waves going in and out, you start getting sinking, 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 sinking. Do you know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I do hear you. Well, I mean, yeah, it's coming on, on 20 years and a couple of days. So this so would they're be... going to have a walk. Are they going to have yes. a walk or a lighting ceremony for her? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. I think they also hold a, a candlelight vigil. Um, um, Lisa's mom has since passed. I think she passed in 2017. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. She passed in 2017. So she kind of in the other space then. Yeah. Which is, I, I guess it's some level, at least, you know, their spirits can. They're, oh yeah. They're reunited. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like talking to her mom and talking to Lisa Marie, which is like Lisa Marie Presley. I have a niece that's named Lisa Marie. So it's kind of a beautiful name, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, talk to Lisa Marie young. And uh, what was her mom's name? Joanne. Joanne. Mm-hmm. And then say, call on Joanne and Lisa Marie and say, help us f- help us find her mm-hmm. so we can get, bring peace to the society and bring peace to the world and, you know, Absolutely. help us help you and the family find her mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so we can put her in peace. Do you know what I mean? In peace here. Cause she's in peace up there. Right. Right. Her spirit is in peace. Yeah, she's definitely, of course. Of and course. maybe have her help us or other people find more indigenous women. Do you know what I mean? Maybe mm-hmm. to that spirit. So that spirit could help us find mm-hmm. other mm-hmm. beautiful girls or boys, do you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that, I think that her spirit in this physical world definitely deserves that justice. And so do her family members that are here and still wondering. And uh, yeah, I, I, I just think it's, it's, so disheartening that it's gone so many years and so long um, without that kind of justice or without her being found, especially when so many people feel like they know who did it. And I think right. you and I both feel like we know who did it. Right. And still nothing has come from it. It's it's such a massive um, and wrongdoing. And they know who, who did it because otherwise they wouldn't be in Japan. Mm, mm-hmm. Why would you nothing live to in a from. completely different country? If you had nothing to run from, if you had know. nothing to run from, absolutely. There's a difference. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? There's a difference of like, why are you living in this country and, and what is being said about you? And I mean, it could be, he could, um, I mean, he could say, of course he could say on his side point of view, well, mm-hmm. because I was getting, you know, harassed too much and everybody was blaming me and um, I had to get away from it. But right. then why Japan? Why not the States or why not another city or why not a that's a good point? That's as far know, as you can get. But I mean, that's pretty far. Do that's you know what I mean? pretty, pretty far. Wow. And I don't know, I don't know the rules and regulations of how Canada works with other countries. Like if the extra there and yeah. bring them back and you know, put them mm-hmm. to trial. I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah. Me either. Yeah. I just, and that's interesting. I'll have to Google that later to see if there are any, like, because I know with some countries, if you, if you're there, you can't be extradited back to the country that you committed a crime. Right. So I don't know what the ties are between Canada and Japan. And if that's a thing, because if right. so, that's, that's pretty maniacal. And you just had an orb going, mm, <laughs> you've had, I don't know, probably 20 of them so far. Uh, <laughs> I don't think your place is dusty. <laughs> going around. A little dusty. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going up and then they go up and then they go sideways it's yeah it's crazy but that one that wow. looked like a butterfly holy Christ! Yeah. wow i can't wait to watch it back yeah um hmm. well i know we said we try to keep this under an hour okay How so i'm wondering we've been talking nearly an hour really already wow yeah yeah God, i feel like we've been just talking five minutes i'm serious Absol- me too. I know. I feel like it's only been 20 minutes. And then I look at the clock. I'm wondering, is there anything, is there anything else that you wanted to say? Maybe we can do a part two if, you know, um, right. We, we can do a part two, or if I go up there and I mean, if there's some other people that have other people that you want us to look for in that area, you know, mm-hmm. please put it in the comments. If you would like to donate for this, you can donate at psychicdebbie.com and say, this is a donation for you to fly up to Canada to help find these missing girls. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We'll probably do a donation thing like that. So, cause it's going to cost mm-hmm. money, mm-hmm. but um, um, I mean, and then that's up to you. I mean, I can do it through my own money, but yeah. um, you know, trying, we are trying to find as many people or even if we don't find them. And even if my point of view is way off, I'm wanting to people to 
remember these girls, right? Remember these people, these beautiful right. people and make the story come alive again. Do you know what I mean? Right. Make the story come alive again. And mm -hmm. maybe someone goes fishing over there and they're at the bay and they're like, Hey, I just heard the podcast and here's some hoop earrings. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't know. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's around that area. And then maybe we go get a scuba diver or whatever. And to look down there and see if you find any thing from her. So yes. that's why we're doing this. We're mm -hmm. doing this. We're not trying to be raggedocious and say, we're the ones that need to find her. We need to, you know, that's far, that's the furthest from it. Mm -hmm. um, um, but the ability to connect, I mean, like I said, I found 10 people, probably even more around the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and if I get some kind of insight, usually I will know if I can give some information to a case right away. I'll be like, nope. I, I, I don't know where they are. I'm not getting anything, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of times, and I'm not cutting these people down because they're people too, but mm -hmm. a lot of times spirit will not help me find someone that was like on drugs or drinking or massive alcohol. Right. I mean, she could have been drinking. She could have been, but you know what I mean? Like an alcoholic or a drug. Right, right, right. It wasn't I really have a hard time probably because their energy is so avant-garde. It's so it's hard to connect. Right. There's a, right. Right. And I'm not going to say I'm a medium. I am not going to say I'm a medium. I do. Right. I have connected mediumship. I have done. I was trying to, mm -hmm. you know, not say trying, but doing some medium readings. And then I thought, you know what? I'm not, I don't feel like yet that I'm pinpointed or exact on that. I would like to get words. I'd like to get names. I'd like to get right. more street names. So that's why when spirit was saying to me this morning, W, Mm. water, lake, swamp area, that kind of thing. So they were giving me that information. Um, and it, it's like I said, and it's connected to that road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like red Jaguar guy, uh, did not, it, it was, it was a quick, let's get rid wow. of her. this happened. Oh my God, freak out. Here's my, yeah. my, um, personality of being destructive, right, You're not going right. to believe me that this was an accident. Cause I really do right. feel like it was an accident. I just think he just has not a really good personality and has right. a destructive personality and yeah. Right. Right. I mean, accident in the sense that like, he's an aggressive guy and his anger or, you know, right. and her saying no the and fighting him off and accidentally, you know, boom, because I'm hearing, I'm hearing from spirit again, speculation that he hit her, he hit her in the mouth or he hit her in the head. So I feel like if we found her skull, um, I feel like there would be either the jaw or, you know what I mean? There would be some indentation. Wow. Wow. Um, hmm. I did want to say <laughs> <That's not> just, <laughs> that. Yeah. You know, I did want to say quickly, and, and you did, you did, um, sort of speak for both of us. And I appreciate that of just like, you know, these are true intentions. And I also really wanted to highlight as a young person, um, myself and as someone who has made decisions, like get into a car with somebody that maybe I don't know all that well. Um, it's, it's, oh. it, yeah, don't do that. But it's also it, like, um, there's unfortunately really nothing novel about this experience. Like there are tons of people who do things that maybe aren't the safest or that maybe aren't the wisest. And we logically know better, but we do it anyways. And I've, I've been put in enough situations where I shouldn't, you know, where it could have gone a lot worse. And so, um, I think that's also what connects me to this case and, um, the fact that, yeah, she, it comes from indigenous heritage and in Canada and in a lot of places, indigenous women and girls are, um, just so much more at risk at experiencing violence and then not getting the justice that they deserve from that yeah. violence. Yeah. So I think it's our duty as, as just anybody who exists in society to end that, you know, yeah. history or, or. And that's for everybody aggression. of all beautiful girls. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, or boys, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, majority of it is girls. Mm -hmm. But there's boys out there too that are getting hurt also. Absolutely. And that are missing. Absolutely. But my, like you said, that's a good point to point out is 
really listen to your insight or even calling on your angels when you're going out for the night. Like, mm-hmm. oh, no, we're putting the angels. When I go on a trip, when mm-hmm. me and Hannah go on a trip, we go to a spiritual places. We always fill the car up with light and have the angels around us. And do you know what I mean? White light, white light. And so that our choices are, mm-hmm. we hope are the Aligned. best. Right. You know, and you just had an orb go down and went back up again. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what the frick's going around you. Girl, girly girl. <laughs> um, but like I said, uh, yes, I mean, thank God I had some powerful angels when I was younger. Because <laughs> like you said, choices. Hmm. Yes. We're not always the best choices. <laughs> yeah, you've know. you've mentioned before that you're um, little, what is it? Your, uh, your guardian angel is probably smoking a cigar and just <laughs> drinking whiskey and yeah, so that's tattered right. wings. And he's like, damn girl, <laughs> you put me through the ringer. Yeah. So maybe that's I, why I'm connecting with him and saying, okay, you've helped me help me help them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cause you got to mm-hmm. figure in the seventies, we used to hitchhike. We used to hitchhike. We used to, I used to hitchhike. And I remember hitchhiking with um, me and my friend, we were hitchhiking, going to a bar <laughs> at the time. And um, it was a Corvette. So it's a two seater. So I was sitting on her lap or she was sitting on my lap, but it turned out the guy was a cop. We didn't realize that at the time, but he was a cop. And um, she's like, look up, look up because on his visor was his um, registration card, but it said officer da, 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 or sergeant. Da, 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 da. You know wow. what I mean? So he's like, and it was funny when I think of it now, it makes sense because he's like, it's better that I'm picking you up than anybody else is picking you up. And we're like, he knows oh. we're like, what, you know, what are you talking about? You know? Wow. And so it was, yeah. So there was a guardian angel there. See? So that's what I'm saying oh. is connect. If you believe in it or you don't believe in it, mm-hmm. you know, bring your, your spirit guys, your guardian angels, mm-hmm. entities, whatever you want to call them to, and I don't want you to say protection because then you're going to be protected of something. It's just like, hang around me and let me listen to my insight of, Mm -hmm. you know, and, and if this can save one person, Mm -hmm. us talking about this, like, Oh, I remember Debbie saying, ask for the angels or ask for protection. It's kind of this. I know this might be of an avant-garde thing, but this is what spirit is telling me to tell this story there. I, when I was, I'm a gypsy. I've lived all over the States. I've visited all the 50 States. So you're going to go, what? And you live there too. So I used to live in Spokane, Washington, and there used to be, um, um, this, uh, uh, spiritual event. I I think it was called conscious living or something like that or conscious life or something. There was a big event and I was coming from Montana and we had this, we have a big Sequoia car and I had eight women in there. We had a bunch of women in there and I'm driving. And before we drove, something said, sage the car. This is not a a typical thing to do. They said, sage the car, do a blessing to the car. And we're like, I'm like, I'm okay. So the girls are like, really Debbie, you need to, (laughs) I'm like, so I'm telling, so I'm changing the car and sing, you know, doing a singing bowl. This is not the norm. I, I haven't, I haven't done it since. So we're driving down to Spokane and all of a sudden I'm on the freeway. So it's like the three lane freeway going into town because it was in by the um, opera center. There it was by the civic center there. And um, I'm going into town. I'm on the freeway. Cars are zoom, zoom, zooming by, you know, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. And, and, um, and all of a sudden a bird boom hits the car and I'm like, Oh no, Oh no, I hit the bird. I should, you know, and everybody's like, stop. I go, I can't stop. And lo and behold, I saw its wing flapping against the grill. Cause I had a grill cause we were in Montana because of the deer and all that stuff. Okay. Mm. And, um, and so the bird was stuck inside the grill with his wing flapping and everybody's screaming, all the women are screaming. And I'm like, I can't stop. I'm in the middle of the freeway, you know? So I, I was like, I just kept on seeing this wing flopping on, on, on the top of the hood. And obviously the bird was stuck in the grill. I thought it was dead. Okay. And so I'm like, I'm not going to stop in the middle of the freeway and I'm not going to stop because it can be a dead bird. You know, I was like, ah, I don't know. I want to see this thing. So I drive into the hotel, which is right across the street from the civic center where the place is. And so everybody's like, no, you look, no, you look, no, you look. So I go look and here's this bird 
this pigeon with its wings stuck in between the thing and it's blinking at me and it's like, I'm alive. And I was going to try. And then all of a sudden a car full of guys in a convertible, a bunch of guys, young guys. And I'm like, hello, <laughs> can you come and help us with the bird? And they're like, what? And I'm like, could you take the bird out of the girl? And they're like, it's dead. It's probably dead. So they go over there and they're all like, Ooh, I don't know. Should we touch it? Oh, da, da, da. So we finally, with the boys and me and the girls are still in the back screaming, <laughs> we finally get the bird out and it flew away and it looked at us and it literally looked at us like, thank you. And then went up on a sign. Oh. So I, my, the reason I'm saying this is I think because of me saging it and doing a protection of it, mm. save the bird. I do. I do hear what you're saying. I do hear what you're saying. And that's what I thought you were going to end up connecting it back to is that if somebody hears this and remembers to call in your angels or to call in the light or uh, other, yes, the other powerful forces that you believe in, which. Right. And so let's call in those higher powerful beings, her mom, Lisa Marie, and say, help us help find you. It doesn't have to be Mm. us. It could be someone else help us help you help find us, you know, find you. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, help us help find all these people, these people that are missing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can find thousands of them. It doesn't have to be just one. It can be thousands. So Yeah. yeah, connect to that. And hopefully, you know, whenever this is uploaded and whoever sees it, they can send up those prayers or, you know, um, um, ask for that kind of support. And then hopefully, because again, I think the energy must be stronger. Yeah. Now that it's right. coming up on the 20 years. Yep. On it's, the it's June 30th. It's yeah. so much stronger now. It's so, so much stronger. that extra added support. I mean, like, I don't know what that, what that could do, but I think it would, it would be really beneficial. So and maybe Keep with them doing this walk or maybe doing this, not protesting, but doing a light visual or the ceremony for her mm-hmm. is going to remind someone and that they go fishing or they're by the bay there and they're going to go, oh, that's right. She was wearing these earrings or this necklace or there's a shirt or there's yeah. a, you know, whatever. Just that she much more diligent. Something. And they would be like, hey, you know, I just heard right. about this. Remind me of this. So let's. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the, uh, I love the adventure with purpose because they're finding people underwater. I don't know if you ever watched them, watch them. They got millions of people there on, you know, Dr. Phil uh, news because they found uh, like 29 people underwater. Um, isn't that crazy? Isn't that just wonderful? I think it's so beautiful. So incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. Love it. So it's kind of like maybe, Oh, well we get someone like that coming in and going, okay, we found her clothing. We found this, we found that of hers. Maybe you can find some part of her down there Mm -hmm. and, you know, to give closure to the family or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. Absolutely. That's the hope. That's the, and I, I, I just hope that she's, um, found sooner rather than later. Yeah. This would be the perfect time. 20 years is enough. Let's 20 years. Yeah. 20 years is enough. Let's bring this beautiful girl home and bring some peace to it and all the other people that we're going to try to, or that we're going to talk about too, you know, that we're going to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I totally agree. Yep. 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 So please, uh, whoever's watching this, please comment, share, you know, even if it's just rainbows and butterflies in the comments, it helps get it out into the world. I want to get as many people to see this as it can be so mm-hmm. that we can help this family. Or if you have, some people that are around the Vancouver or even other areas, give us, you know, put their name down there and Madison can check it out. And, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and, and like I said, there's going to be a time where I would like to fly up there. And if we have like five or six or 10 cases and then, you know, do it while I'm there or something and Mm -hmm. see which one resonates with us. And Mm -hmm, maybe we can find somebody. That would be such an honor. That would be such an honor. And um, I mean, why not? Right. right. Why not? Right. Even if it's not us finding them, even if it's someone else finding them, great. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we're not doing this for ragadocious or like, hey, we know everything. We're really not. <laughs> That's like, uh, no. <laughs> no, we want to help out as much as we can. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. these are the ones that are resonating with us. These are yes. the ones that went, uh, because Madison gave me a couple of them and I was like, nope, nope, yeah. nope. Most of them were no. Nope. nope. 
that's a drug lord. That's the, they know it, you know, that one's a, da, da, da. and I'm not saying that those people are not worthy of to be found. I'm not saying that, but it's hard. It, I, I, I just, it's hard for me to connect. Mm-hmm. It's hard for me to, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. yeah, there's a lot of, um, thought that goes behind selecting who it is that we speak about and it's not just oh yeah anybody and anything and so we can get right. this or get that it there's there's genuine thought and consideration um behind and residents, if it re- resonates yeah. with either one of us you know mm-hmm. you being this young beautiful vivacious girl that's in vancouver like I said, like we said we want you to be protected too and we mm-hmm. want all those beautiful girls that are in Vancouver or even around the world that they don't have any harm happening to them. So maybe with some of us just saying, calling on your angels or listen or insight or something, you know, get an earworm in their ear, like, oh, they were talking about this. Don't, mm-hmm. don't go with that person or go with two or three, you know, it's like, you come with me, even though I'm hungry. And if they're like, no, I don't want to go, then don't go. Do you know what I mean? Really listen to your insight when it's around that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. So, Mm -hmm. okay. Well, this was great again. Fantastic. This is lovely. Thank you so much for your time and your energy and your, yeah, your dedication to folks who are missing. Yes. And we would probably like to do this um, continuously. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to do it. Monthly or or bi-weekly. Bi-weekly. That's going to be up to Madison. I'm doing (laughs) bi-weekly. Slot me in. (laughs) Let's do bi-weekly. So so the next case, we'll see what comes up and see what uh, the universe or God or Buddha or whatever brings to our intention. And that's what we'll connect with. And that's what we'll talk about next. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Maybe even doing ones that are like in Minnesota, California, other states. Maybe we do some other. Well, you definitely do that. You know, like Montana or Washington or mm-hmm. Idaho or yeah, I mean all over. So mm-hmm. let's mm-hmm. see. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, beautiful people. Thank you so much. We're giving you blessings and smiles and uh, thank you for listening and please share and comment. And if you want to donate psychic or you can even do it on here on super chat and say, this is for the Madison, this is for the indigenous people. And I will definitely put it aside and use it for flight or going over there or the family or whatever. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Wherever mm-hmm. we think is where it needs to go. So. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. Everyone take care. Be safe. Be safe. Bye-bye. Love. Bye. Bye.